So I'm making this video because of uh, American schools. The basic point I'm making is our schools suck. I am a perfect example of uh, just the average kid. I had the most average upon average as average gets in America. I graduated with a 2.9 uh, and uh, you know it's not really bad but it's not really good either. It's kind of like right in the middle. It's average. I was the average kid. And the very instant that I graduated, when I got that diploma and I walked out and I didn't have anything else, I flipped, you know. I was like, what the fuck do I do, you know. I was pissed off. I was like, what the fuck was that all about? Why did I do that? That didn't help me at all. I, I, don't, I can't recall hardly learning anything throughout the course of my high school career. I mean, the, maybe a few things here and there, or maybe a, slightly understanding something more. I remember my freshman year, I learned a little bit, you know, here and there. Like, I learned some stuff about gang green in uh, my freshman year. I don't know why. I thought it was gross, so I paid attention. And then s senior year, all, all I did was electives, because I, I worked my ass off my first two years so that I didn't have to do anything my senior year. And I didn't. I didn't do shit my senior year. I had one class, and that was English. And I, I, I tried to get into an in easy English class, and she just basically pushed everybody along and made sure that you passed, which seemed like a cool idea at the time to me. I was like, oh yeah, sweet, she's just going to push me right along, hooray. You know, babe me. That's exactly what the counselor said. She said that this particular teacher just pushes you along. And I like that. Of course I'm going to like that. I was a fucking high school student. I, w I don't want to try, you know. I don't want to work for my grades. I just want to get them, you know. And now... You know, I realize how ridiculous that is and how pointless it is. I didn't learn shit in that class, you know? I mean, I love that teacher, and I still do, but, I mean, I, I didn't learn shit, you know? So what, the, what, what was the fucking point of it, you know? What's the point of our schools? I used to go to, a, it, was, it was a prep school paid for by the public because it was some ordinance or something like that. So we got, you know, I mean, the taxes were higher there, but you got really great school and, and all that stuff. And they had fantastic teachers. All the teachers did exactly what they were told to by the administrative office. There was absolutely no insubordinance whatsoever. Uh, I got a board suspension once for not doing my homework. Um, of course, it wasn't I didn't do my homework one day. They gave me a board suspension. It wasn't like that. I didn't do my homework. They said, okay, do your homework. And... Uh, I didn't, and I refused to do, I, I just didn't feel like it, I just didn't want to, and I, I just wanted to see how far they would go, and eventually it was a board suspension, and they said that I was not, that I was legally not allowed to go into the school property until I finished this homework, so I finished the homework. <laughs> In my sophomore year, I was going to a regular public school, and this guy, he didn't know how to spell his own damn, his own name. His name was John. He spelled it G-O-N. G-O-N. John. Isn't that sad? You know, I mean, if you had this crazy long name and you had a learning disability, I wouldn't be mad at you. But no, this kid was just lazy and nobody, they just pushed him right along, you know. They just said, okay, go on to the next grade, go on to the next grade. You know, at my old school, if you failed, it wasn't a big deal because everybody fucking failed. If you didn't do the work, you didn't get the, you didn't get the gold, you know. You didn't get the right to go on to the next grade. And I feel that people, they just push them right along, you know. I don't feel that way. That's exactly what's going on. And we don't need more money. I mean, it's been proven time and time again that they just keep putting more and more and more and more and more and more money into school system, and it's not producing any kind of a result, you know. It's just staying exactly as it was. You know, there's no change, no change whatsoever. And though when I was in high school, I loved it. It wasn't all that difficult. I got to just kind of breeze right along. Now that I'm not in high school, I'm pissed off because I could just breeze right along, you know? It, th there's no point to it. If, it, if you're just going to push kids along, might as well just destroy the entire system. There's no reason to continue doing it. And I am just one of those regular kids that if I wasn't pushed, I wouldn't be anything, you know? I mean, nobody likes to do that. I mean, you don't go into a... 
into a work zone and say, okay, you just do, you know, whatever you feel like doing and then hope that the job gets done. No, if you don't do the job, you get fired, you know. That's the way it works out in the real world, and that's what school's supposed to be, you know, training us to do. And there's all these people, and they don't do their jobs when they get a job. And, of course, they're not going to because when they were in high school, you know, if they didn't do their work, it didn't matter. They just got pushed right along, you know, or they got put into an easier class, you know, rather than, you know, saying, okay, you're going to do this work or else you're going to have to keep doing this over and over and over and over again, you know. And it pisses me the fuck off. They need to raise these standards. The No Child Left Behind Act is the biggest pile of bullshit I've ever heard, you know. Rather than pushing the kids, making it more difficult to pass through high school, because I didn't do shit to pass through high school, what they're going to do is they're going to lower the standards, you know, just make it easier to pass through high school, and then we'll look better. But, you know, our kids will still be stupid, and they wonder why the economy isn't doing all that well, and why, you know, well, it's because everybody's fucking stupid here, you know. You have the potential to be smart if you want to be smart, but, I don't know, it doesn't seem all that lucrative before, because in order to be smart, you have to put in all this time and effort, and blah, 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 blah. Who wants to put in time and effort for something that might not even work in the end? You have to be forced, and I feel like our schools just, you know, mollycoddle these kids until they are just kicked to the curb. I think we need to, we don't need to spend any more money in the schools. The schools have enough money. And I, at the time, I wanted more money, but now I kind of realize, no, everything's fine. Um, we just need to uh, raise the standards, put different morals into the teachers' minds, rather than them just going, well, this is just like a, you know, standard class that they need to be taking, and, you know, just push them along. No, make them work for these grades. Every single class is an achievement, you know. It's not just something that you have to do, you know. If you disagree with me, please tell me. If you agree with me, please tell me. I'm trying to rally up some support and maybe let these people know what we think, you know. You know, one video on YouTube isn't going to make any, of a diff a any difference on uh, the, the global um, scheme. But, I mean, if, if there's two videos, you know, that, that really won't do much either. But three, it starts to get a little bit, you know, more, you know, um, like, well, there's three videos. I mean, that almost fills up that little thing on the side, you know. And then once you start getting four or five, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 40 different, you know, videos talking about how fucked up our schools are and telling 40 separate stories of how fucked up our schools are then people might start to get the idea. You know, we can't just sit back and hope that some guy who's obsessed with this is going to go out and do all this stuff, you know. No, I mean, I, th I think we should do, uh, make a video about it. It doesn't need to be huge. Just point the camera on yourself and tell a story of how sad our schools are and put it on YouTube and try and get people to watch it and put it in response to one of the other videos, or, one, or this video, or, or uh, there's a John Stossel video that talks about it, respond to it. Let people know what we think, and then maybe it'll take off. I, why am I paying taxes to, to go to these school things if they're, if they're, gonna be, if they're not going to end up being worth, worth anything? They're not worth it.